Yeah, okay, hello guys and once again welcome back to the channel for this video This is the 12 tail blossom quest, which is the final chapter in order to proceed with the quest You need to be located on this location in the map here in the Tokyo town or here in Tokyo So once you're here on the location, you just need to speak with the male NPC so this is the step one and the step two would be to proceed towards the corner here and proceed to that red gate okay so step two once you're near this red gate just speak with the female npc to proceed with the quest and you need to go further inside up until the front of the column now for step three once you're here you just need to click on the action notification that you can see in the floor with the arrow pointing down in order to proceed with the quest so click on the notification and afterwards wait for a few seconds and then the girls will proceed to move forward then you just need to follow the same steps for two more times so click on the icon notification for a second time and after a few seconds they will again begin moving forward then we just need to click on the action notification once again okay so this would be the third and last time so just click on the action notification on the floor and once the npcs start moving head towards the lantern and you will be transferred over to a different map where you need to proceed with a different quest okay once we're here speak with the npc to activate the quest and there would be two selections if you want to follow the quest with the same options that we used you can now select the second option once you select the second option, we just need to follow the NPC and head towards the main temple to speak with the Buddhist monk. Okay, so once you're here, we just need to click on the Buddhist monk several times in order to activate the dialogue. If you want to proceed with the quest with the same options that we did, you can now select uh, the first option. Once you select the first option, there, would, there will be a brief dialogue and you can just follow the NPC outside of the house. And once you follow the NPC outside of the house or the temple, you will be transferred over to the main map or to the previous map where you came from. Okay, on this part, just speak with the NPC and follow her through the directions where she will lead you until you reach the Red Lantern. Okay, so once you're here, just click on your quest notifications and make sure to browse over and click on the quest saying get away from the paparazzi with Miss or with the NPC in order to trigger the quest. Okay, so speak with the NPC under the lantern. There would be a brief uh, dialogue and afterwards you need to head outside and then you need to speak with the male NPC for another quest notification. After the NPC runs away, just click on your map and head towards this location which I am currently clicking on. Okay, and once you're on this location, just head towards the door on the left where the neon lights are located and enter the action notification on the floor in order to enter the office building or in order to enter room 120. Once you're inside the room, just head towards the male NPC and click on the quest notification in order to proceed with the quest. And there would be a two selection in order to proceed. If you want to follow through the quest with the same options we did, you can select the first option. Once you're done speaking with the male NPC, head towards the personal computer. Uh, use the action interface and enter the command Z646. And also make sure that the Z is a small letter. Afterwards, you can talk with Ava and get some tips. Ava will advise you to use the tracking chips in order to track or in order to proceed to the main quest. So go to your inventory and use the tracking chips. After using the chips, we need to head outside click on your map and go to this location and we need to speak with a new NPC for a new quest notification 
After speaking with the NPC, just head towards the room and click on the action notification in order to enter room 113, 413. Once you're inside the room, click on the footprints on the floor and afterwards wait for the action and click on remove evidence. Now head towards the TV stand or the cabinet, click on the paper and the same action, remove the evidence. Now face the foot of the bed, then there should be a pen-like blade. Click on that and at the same time remove the evidence as well. Then head towards the left side of the bed and click on the cash box and put in 5000 into the box and that would be it. Then head towards the right side and click on the nightstand and at the same time click the option remove the evidence and now make sure that you've tampered with all the evidence inside this room before heading out because you will receive a notification that once you go out you can never go back in once you're outside open your map and head towards this location we need to go back to the room where the npc with the black uniform is staying at so now we need to enter or go back inside room one two zero. Once you're inside, speak with the NPC in order to activate the continuation of the quest. Okay, and after your dialogue with the NPC, head towards the phone, use the dial free options and dial the numbers 06710 and call that number. You will be transferred over to an NPC and select the option to date that NPC. After using the phone, talk to Ava in order to update the quest. She will give you a clue that you need to go into the boutique in order to meet the NPC. So head outside, click on your map, then just below you can see the option to enter the boutique. And once you enter that map, you just need to wait within an hour or in game time for an hour in order for the NPC to appear. So just wait around this location and the NPC should appear right there within an hour. Now click on the NPC and there should be a mini game that you need to dress up a certain model and you need to get at least a high rank of A and above or maybe you can also get a low rank. So after playing the mini game of dressing up the model, the next thing you need to do would be to follow her towards the door which will happen in a few seconds. Okay, now follow the NPC through the door and you will be transferred to a new location. This is the celebrity internet party or the internet celebrity party. Now head towards the claw machine. You need to at least get one prize. So just play the claw machine, get one item and afterwards you can give that item to the NPC in order to proceed with the quest. Once you have the gift, just click on the NPC and she will run towards the dance floor. Click on the action notification on the floor and dance with her. Then she will eventually run towards the balcony. You need to follow her and activate the last part of the quest with her. And now you will receive a call from Ura calling you back to the office. So now we need to go back to Tokyo. So click on your map and head towards the pointed location. So we just need to go inside back into the room and speak with the NPC in order to activate the next part of the quest. Okay, so once you're inside room 120, just head towards the NPC in order to proceed with the next part of the quest. Now you can head towards the computer and enter the command news in order to get an update for the next part of the quest. After reading the evening due news, you just need to head towards the NPC and speak with him in order to proceed with the quest. And afterwards, wait for a few seconds. You can click on the NPC again if you want, or you can look around. Then there should be another quest notification for this same NPC. And once it shows up, just click on that NPC again as it's showing now to proceed with the next quest. After a brief dialogue with the NPC, head towards the phone, use the dial-free option and dial the numbers 
0505050. After you call the number, Shimuzu will appear in or Shin Kohono will appear on the line. Then afterwards, use the phone again, dial freely and dial the numbers 01234. This time, the detective will appear on the line and after the conversation has ended, use the dial free option and dial the number 06710 and this time Shimuzu will appear on the line. So this would be the third and last call and afterwards we need to proceed with the next quest. Okay, so after using the phone, speak to the NPC in black and afterwards we need to head towards the computer and enter the command intercept one, two, three, four, without any spaces. Now we will be provided with four options. If you want to proceed with the quest the same way we the same way we did, select justice. Okay, now go back to the NPC in black in order to proceed with the quest and you need to click on him until you get all three quests. Afterwards, we need to head back outside and proceed to the next quest location which is on the other side of the building. So click on the action button and enter the elevator. Once you enter the elevator, click on the lower option and enter room 304. Once you're inside room 304, head towards the TV stand and place the bug. Afterwards, exit the room and return back to the elevator. And this time, browse over to your quest notification. It says sneak into the back of the elevator. So click on the action in the back of the elevator and confirm. Then there should be a mini game. Just finish the mini game in order to finish the quest or this part of the quest. Once you're done with the mini game, click on your quest. There should be a notification that you need to change the 404 room number. So head towards the elevator controls and enter room 404. Then click on the action notification on the middle of the door and change the room number to 304. Once you change the room number, head back towards the elevator shaft. Then we need to go back outside or head to Tokyo in order to high, hire the female substitute assistant. So head towards this location on the map and enter the hiring agency or the hiring market. Speak with the NPC and purchase the V1 name tag. After you purchase the V1 name tag, head inside towards the upper left corner of the room and hire the female assistant and send her over to room 304. Afterwards, we need to go back outside of Tokyo and we need to head over to the elevator shaft. So just go back to this location in the map and enter the elevator shaft. Okay, once you're in the elevator, enter room 404 and speak with the NPC. And after a brief dialogue, there should be a selection. And if you want to proceed with the quest similar with us or with the option we did, you can select the fourth option, which is I have told you. There should be a brief dialogue and afterwards just continue speaking with the NPC. Then there should be another selection for the quest. On this part, you can choose when did you start recording it in order to proceed with the quest similar with how we decided to do so. Then after a brief discussion, there would be another selection and this time you can select yes in order to have the similar options the way we did. Then after a brief discussion, there should be another selection. Just continue speaking with the NPC and this time you can select the third option, wherein where did you go after that, then just continue speaking with the NPC and Dell until the quest notification ends. After the conversation, we need to update our lead, so head towards the door and go back to the elevator shaft. Once you're outside, just call Ava. She will inform you that you have new leads.
afterwards go back and this time click on the clue wall in order to bring out or position all the clues outside the clue wall or inside the clue wall. After you've placed all the clues, give Ava a second call and she will tell you you have received multiple leads and you can go back to the office and talk with the detective. So we need to go back outside and afterwards we just need to walk towards the office so it's just in the corner similar with how we got there. So just reverse walk and afterwards enter room 102. 120 I mean. <laughs> okay so once you're inside the room speak with the detective in order to activate the next part of the quest. After speaking with the NPC, head towards the phone and dial freely and dial the numbers 06710 in order to speak with Shimizu to proceed with the quest. Shimizu will ask you to go to the studio with her so the next step would be to go outside and head towards the studio location. After you go outside, click on your map and head towards the location pointed in the map that is the location of the studio then click on the action notification and enter the recording studio in order to proceed with the quest once you're inside just continue speaking with all the npcs and proceed with the dialogue until they ask you to look for the surveillance and that would be the next part of the quest to search for the surveillance, go near Shimizu and click on the action in order to do the search. Afterwards, head towards the southern part of the room and click on the chair and the cabinet or the table. There should be another action notification and search the surveillance. Afterwards, go to your right and head towards the recording uh, studio or recording room and go to the panels in order to search for the third surveillance. Afterwards, go outside, then just directly click on Ishimizu to proceed with the quest. After clicking on Shimizu, there would be a brief dialogue and afterwards, different quest notifications will pop up on the different NPCs. So you just need to click on them individually until the dialogue ends. Then there would be another selection in order to proceed with the quest. For the selection, you can choose the third option, which is the Studio version MV, in order to proceed with the next part of the quest.
okay as you can see here after I entered or when I entered the MV room <laughs> they started heading out because I got delayed outside so I totally messed up so I, uh, when I went outside this was after the server maintenance so it might be different for others I was able to click on the other NPC and I was able to take the three photos required for the quest so just click on the NPC in black or the one with the blue jeans in order to collect the pictures then submit it to the main quest NPC in order to proceed with the quest now as mentioned this happened after maintenance so it might have been that the servers were reset so if you did mess up your next option would be to wait for the following day after the uh, server reset in order to proceed with the quest and after submitting all the pictures you will receive a new quest notification that you need to operate the recording device so just go back inside the MV room and click on the panel in order to activate or receive the quest now after receiving the quest you can immediately contact Ava in order to proceed with updating all the clues so click on your clue wall as well for us to fix or update all the new leads that we have received so far okay on this part of the video you can pause this temporarily and afterwards you can copy all the evidence in the clue wall and also connect all the threads that you can see and once you're done simply click on confirm evidence in order to proceed with the next quest now after you exit the clue wall there will be several notifications from the NPCs just continue speaking with the NPCs and afterwards you will receive a notification that you need to choose on how you will interact with the certain NPC so afterwards just select let me have a walk with you on this option then just continue clicking on the NPCs with the different uh, pop-up notification for the quest so this will be filled with uh, different dialogues regarding the storyline if you read it carefully there is a high chance that there are different endings for this tale quest depending on the choices that you make it seems like uh, the suspect is actually innocent but we'll never know unless you retake the quest so this is it for the blossom tail quest if this video helped you out please make sure to like it really helps me out and you can subscribe as well and leave a comment if you have any questions and once again thanks for watching and have a good time playing the game